Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So we're gonna get back into the swing of things and wrap up our shop here. Uh, we've got our bar pretty much wrapped up. We're gonna be redoing the theater. The door's open now. We're changing that whole thing. We've got a huge series coming up on the theater change. It's pretty involved. And then what we're doing today is the rust effect on our industrial windows. This is in our garage. So we're gonna do a tour on this, so please subscribe. We noticed uh, doing quite a few YouTube videos, we don't get a lot of subscribers. We're getting a fair amount of views and then no one subscribes. So if you can, that'd be cool. Uh, this one should be pretty informative. And the steps here and what we're trying to do is get these to do the rust effect, just like our industrial windows here on the inside of the bar. So you can see the rust effect. We try to make it so if like water was coming down, it wouldn't really pool and rust there, but it would pool at the bottom. And then you can see, I'll just recap real quick. We've made these wood beams. These are actually wood and not metal. So we did the handrail. We did our frame around our uh, racetrack. And we did the two beams down here to kind of faux paint them in. Uh, these are metal. This is actually wood. So pretty neat feature. And so the steps on this, I'm going to jump back in here in the garage. Pardon the mess. We're still working on stuff. So our steps here, we're obviously to tape these off. We put the metal uh, Modern Masters primer on here. Then we put the oxidizing paint. That was our next steps. And our third step is gonna be to do the rust activator. And you can buy this as a four pack kit with the sealer on Amazon. You can also find these at most paint stores. Uh, quick note, if you buy them at a paint store, uh, have them pop it open and make sure it's not solid. A lot of these will come, they've been sitting on the shelves long time and they're solid so don't want that and then you want to pick yourself up Amazon some little applicator spray bottles and some little paint brushes and the reason for those is we're gonna mist a real light thing on our windows over there and then we're gonna come through and actually do some brush effect work on these to get this detail real strong so what I'm gonna do continue with the video here is I'm gonna jump on the Brino time-lapse cams so get both these turned on. So this one here, our little Brino is set on this swatch that we put in here. We're gonna time-lapse that. And then we're gonna obviously spray out and time-lapse those windows. Our little bit nicer Brino cam is doing the large window. So you'll see me on the time-lapse kind of getting the spray and the applicator and doing all that. I'm obviously, it's a time-lapse. I'm gonna speed through that, but I'll stop at about every hour and just video where we're at in the process so you can get a timeline on it and then I'll video the final product of this um, and I'll timestamp the uh, final product if you want to just skip forward because you're probably not going to want to wait the 20 or 30 minutes the time lapse thinks uh, it's gonna take a while so thanks a lot and uh, again subscribe and I'll show you the end of this thing thanks a lot Okay, so you probably just saw me in the time lapse. I just went and checked, and we got about 35 minutes into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see we've got some good rust forming. However, we don't quite have enough. And I believe it's just I just didn't mist quite enough on. I really like this effect here. That's good. And then you can see the bottom. Super good effect there with the rust. Again, in the corner, right where water would pool up. So I got to get some more activator in these corners and I got to get some to come down off these you can see it's it's actually pretty good on the tape it may have got a little more paint there our swatch ironically I think this just might be the substrate it's on the cardboard just isn't giving us a rust effect these windows however right in the bottoms right where I want them so again I don't want a super heavy effect I got some good rust there really good along this window so I'm going to come back right now and put a second coat on 
of the activator and I'm gonna try to brush these corners a little harder and get these corners to rust in because that's again that's where rust would form on a window it would come the water would come down and then it would pool up and sit here the moisture and then it would rust along the beads here so again like this one's perfect maybe a little bit there and then come down so again I'm gonna pop back in here it's been about 35 minutes put another coat on and then I'll give it another 35 40 minutes and that should give me close to the effect I want and then I may have to come back in and throw a second coat of the iron paint just to get a little bit more activation. All right, thanks a lot. So I'm going to jump into there. It's about 8 p.m. We uh, did the first couple minutes of the video at 1130. 
we ran the activator and then we came back midday about 2 p.m and uh, jumped in here with about a minute and a half two minutes of me talking kind of showing you what i did like and didn't like and uh after i've done those adjustments i'm now back it's 8 p.m i went and got dinner did my work day and so what i don't like and i'll tweak this and you'll see it at the final part of this video or you'll see it the next time i do like a photo on it i don't like the bright orange so this doesn't bother me i don't like the big streak of bright orange and i got a little bit of a kind of a weird pattern here it almost looks like a scratch of course again it's supposed to look vintage so having it rough and old is cool but we had primed this we did the iron effect we did the activator on it it did some weird stuff over here and here in the time lapse you'll see it we repainted this section resprayed it out so it's got a couple different layers it looks super sharp this is the exact look i like a little bit of rust coming down the side corner rust running across again brighter rust running across you know everything's got a speck of rust here and there it's, it's you know it's pretty sharp it's pretty detailed again water is going to come down a window seal it's going to run down rust it's going to be a deeper color there so it's it's done a fairly good job and i really like it it's a definitely a good vintage look i took the center tape out but you can see when we razor blade it and clean it all up paint the rest of our trim and cut it in going to get something similar to that of course the tape's still on in the center we'll paint out our trim and i'm excited to see what the time lapse is so i actually haven't looked at the time lapse but i'm excited for this first about hour of the time lapse when you'll see this go from that real iron color solid charcoal color to the full rust that's going to be an exciting part of this video okay so final day of this project we'll uh, put the video up tonight it is now saturday so i worked all day yesterday out in the field but as you can tell now, the window is all cut in with paint. It's got the full rust effect. I'll zoom in on it. And then we have our other side windows here. So now those are all complete, ready to go. So we just have a little bit of trim to wrap up in here. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I think it was a pretty neat one to do.